Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 11. It says 3011, 3 denotes the fact that we are in the third edition. Day 3011, uh, yesterday, and we are on page number 160. We're going to pick up from where we were yesterday. Yesterday, towards the end of the video, I gave you an extra problem to work on. The problem actually appears on page 160. If you turn to page number 160, and particularly if you have watched yesterday's video, you know what we're about to do here. On page number 160, problem number one, we are told that we have two machines. In problem number one, we are told that we have two machines. Machine A, we are told, can do can do a job in 30 minutes. Machine B, we are told, can do the same job in 48 minutes. And the question was, approximately, they are not looking for the exact answer, approximately how long will they take to finish the job together? If they are working together at their simultaneous speed, uh, how long uh, at their corresponding speed is what I meant to say, how long will they take to finish the job? And these are the answer choices. 16 minutes, 18 minutes, 24, 30 and 30. I hope you worked on it already. Do not stop the video if you have not done the problem already. Do it yourself first, you will get more out of it. So here we go. What we have to understand is that we are already told that A can do the job in 30 minutes, the entire job. If A can do the entire job in 30 minutes, he doesn't need the help of B. He doesn't need the help of B. He can do the entire job in 30 minutes. How the, how the, how the bloody hell is it going to take 34 minutes working together? It's also not going to take 30 minutes working together. 30 minutes, the guy, one guy can do the job by himself in 30 minutes. When they're working together, they're not going to take 30 minutes, obviously. It's going to be something less than 30 minutes. Let's look at this one. 24. Let's take a look at 24. In 24 minutes, in 24 minutes, in 24 minutes, we know that B can do half the job. B can do half the job because he's taking 48 minutes. So if you give him 24 minutes, he can do half the job. A does not need 24 minutes, does not need 24 minutes to do half the job. He only needs 15 minutes. And this guy needs 24 minutes. So if they're working together, they're going to take something less than 20 minutes, uh, to 24 minutes. Because 24 minutes is too long. This guy is going to be done in 15 minutes. What is he going to do for the next 9 minutes? He's going to contribute towards his work. They're not going to need 24 minutes. They're going to need something less than 24 minutes. This is too silly. It's too silly. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at this guy, 16. Let's take a look at 16. What about 16? Okay, let's take, the, what about 16? Well, in 16 minutes, in 16 minutes, in, in 16 minutes, B will do one-fourth of a job. Because he takes, I hope 16 is one-fourth, one, not one, not one-fourth, rather, one-third. Yes, one third. In 16 minutes, just give me one brief second, okay? I'm making it far too complicated than it needs to be. We can start by looking from his point of view, or we can start by looking at from his point of view. It's 16 minutes. In 16 minutes, A can do approximately, here we go, this is much easier. In 16 minutes, I'm going to start again. In 16 minutes, A can do approximately half the job. Approximately half the job. Little more than half the job because he takes 30 minutes. If he takes 30 minutes, if you give him 16 minutes, he's going to do a little over half the job. Just a little over. But B cannot do half the job in 16 minutes. B cannot do half a job in 16 minutes. He take, he needs, he's going to need 24 minutes. Because he takes 48 minutes to do the job. If you ask him to do half the job, he's going to need 24 minutes. So if they only have 16 minutes, that's not going to be enough. 16 minutes is too short, 16 minutes is too small. We crossed out D and C because they were just too silly. They were just too silly. The total amount of time that they take is not going to be more than what they take, what one guy takes by himself. And C, we crossed it out because it was too big. This was too silly, this is too big, and this is too small. This, this guy is too small. This guy is too small. Why is it too small? Because if you give him 16 minutes, in 16 minutes, A can do approximately half the job. 
but we cannot do half the job in 16 minutes, we need 24 minutes. Or we could have looked the other way around the way I was about to start out by looking at B first. If you look at just B first and if you give them 16 minutes, I don't know why I'm so paranoid. Yeah, it is, it is. Yes, it is one. Yes. In 16 minutes, if, if, they give, if you give 16 minutes to B, in 16 minutes, B can do a third of a job. To do, for A, to do the remaining third of a job, he needs 20 minutes. He needs 20 minutes to do the remaining two thirds of a job because he takes 30 minutes altogether. If he takes 30 minutes altogether, he's going to do third of a job in 10 minutes. If you ask him to do two thirds of the job, he needs 20 minutes. He doesn't have 20 minutes. It's only 16 minutes. It's too small. It is too small. The answer is B. The answer is B. Now let's do it. Let's do it out. Let's do it out classical in the classical way, if you like. Shall we? Let's do it in a classical manner, shall we? This is how we will do it, the traditional manner. So if it were, so that's it, as far as the exam is concerned, the answer is B, we don't have to do any work. But if it were an open-ended question, if it were an open-ended question, and the question was asking you approximately how many minutes are they going to take working together, and in the parenthesis they would say, uh, give it to the, uh, to the to in a, answer in an integer or a whole number, then you have to put in some whole number there, in which case you have to do the work. So let's do the work. The key here is to understand that in these kind of problem, the simplest, the quickest, the most economical way to go about is to find out the LCM, the least common multipliers of the two numbers. We have 30 and 48. Let's find the least common multiplier, the smallest number that happens to be a multiple of both 30 and 48. Let's begin. Divide by 2, we get 15 and we get uh, 24. Divide by 3 and we get 5 and 8. There we go, we're all, all done. 5 4s are 40 and 2 6s are, uh, 2 3s are 6. So it's 6 times 40, which is 240. 240 is a multiple of both 30 and 48. It is 5 times 48 and it is 6 times 30. That's the smallest number that we can find that is a multiple of both 30 and 48. And that's the magic number. Let's make them work for 240 minutes. Let's make them work for 240 minutes. Let's make them work for 240 minutes. In 240 minutes, in 240 minutes, A can do, A can do, we need, we need the room. How many, how many jobs A can do in, in 240 minutes, given the fact that we are told that A takes only 30 minutes? If he takes only 30 minutes, I'm, I'm making sure that that's what it is. A takes yes, A takes 30 minutes. In in in, in 240 minutes, he can do six jobs. In the same amount of time, in 240 minutes, B can do how many minute jobs? B takes 48 minutes. If he takes 48 minutes, 240 divided by 48. It's going to be 5. Why 5? Because 24 is half of that. So if you divide top and bottom by 24, you're going to get 10 and you're going to get 2 here. It's 5. I, I don't know why I'm showing you all this thing. 5 jobs. Are you with me so far? I don't know why I have 8 written in my notes. Is this wrong? Is this wrong? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes. I don't know why I'm drawing. Uh, drawing. Yes, it's not six. It's eight. He can do eight jobs. The reason I caught myself is because those figures were too close to each other, and that 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 did that did not make any sense. If this guy can do five jobs, the other guy cannot possibly do six jobs because he works so much faster. It's a difference of 30 minutes versus 48 minutes. It's not the numbers are not too close together. The one guy can do the job in 30 minutes. The other guy is so slow that he takes 48 minutes. That's what made me realize that I had done something wrong. So what do we find? So what we find is that in 240 minutes, in 240 minutes, they can do 13 jobs. Are you with me so far? We're almost done. So we have 240 minutes over 13 jobs. That's it. We have to divide 240, 240 by 13, and we will have our answer. We have to divide 240 by 13. Let's do it on the top. Oh, I erased the answer choices, didn't I? I shouldn't have erased the answer choices. 240 
240 by 13. Well, we have 113 here, and that is going to give us 11. Zero comes down. Now I have to figure out how many 13 and 110. I don't know. Uh, I don't know my 13 stable. I do know 6, 5 is a 13. Uh, 5, 6, 5, 13 is a 65. That I do know. I know 5 13s are 65 because 10 13s will make 1, 130 and half of 130 is 65. So let's start with 65. So that's 5 13s. Let's add one more 13. 8 and 7, that's too small. Let's add one more. We're going to get 11 and 9. Let's add one more. We're going to get 4. Oh, there we go. So this is 5 13, 6 13, 7 13, 8 13s. 8 13s are 104. 110 minus 104 is 6. What do we do with that 6? That 6 has to be divided by 13. So the exact answer is, how long will they take together? The answer is 18 and 6 thirds, 6 13 minutes. Or if you like, approximately 18 and a half minutes. Because 6 12 would have been 18, 18 and a half minutes. Which is why 18 is one of the answer choices. I'm not going to do any more problems today. I was, I, I had planned actually to do several things, to the, several other problems on the next page, but this video has gotten so long altogether. Uh, I didn't intend to do it this way, but that's how it worked out. That's okay, because if I try to do what I, everything that I wanted to do today, it would have been, it, it will be, it will be a very long video. Let's just, let's just take it easy. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye now.